the real gets uncovered. What brand are you wearing right now? Who, what else, what other person's name is across your chest? Who else, whose identity is on your clothing? I think for many of us, we're hiding brokenness behind somebody else's brand. The problem is, is that God sees beyond what's on the outside. And eventually, everybody else will see as well. And I think many of us right now, what we're doing is we're spending so much time working to look good in other people's brands. But when the clothes come off and when we get real and when we get honest and vulnerable, come on, when we're in a relationship for a little bit longer than a month, come on, when we hit that time stamp of how long we can be dating somebody and the real starts coming out. Cause you could put on a good face for a few weeks. Come on, you can hide what's really going on underneath for a few months, but eventually what's gonna happen is this stuff is gonna be exposed. I wonder what brokenness is hiding underneath somebody else's brand. Cause when the clothes come off, the real comes out. What's really going on underneath it all? What's really happening behind all of the stuff that you're putting on on the outside, but nobody can see the insecurities on the inside? Maybe you feel good because you're rocking Nike, but underneath you feel like a nobody. Maybe you're sporting Chanel, but, but as soon as the clothes come off, what's really going on is that you're covered in shame. You're rocking Prada, going around there, showing everybody your bag, but, but really what you're trying to hide is you got a pride problem. And maybe, maybe Gymshark is your thing. Maybe, maybe you, you like the fitness clothes. You rock Gymshark, but, but when you go in the gym, really, you just got jealousy. When you look at everybody else and the way that they look and, and, and you can hide it for a little bit, but as soon as the clothes come off, the real comes out. And I think some of us, we are so scared of getting beneath the surface because if we get beyond the surface, people will see what's really happening in our hurt and broken heart. I think that's why some of us are obsessed with the superficial. We're obsessed with brands because if we can keep people out as long as possible, if we can distract them with something that would attract them, then maybe they won't want to see what's really going on. Whose brand are you using to hide behind? Maybe, maybe it's clothes. Maybe it's a smile. Maybe right now in your life, you're, you're just putting on a smile, pretending like you're not angry at God and you're not frustrated at what's happening in your life. But, but if you really let people see what was going on underneath it all, they would see that there's not a smile, there's agony. Maybe you come to church, you put your church clothes on, you lift your hands, come on, you log on, you comment, you're a good volunteer, you're a part of the E-team, you go to E-group, come on, you log. Everybody know that you're a man or a woman of God, but when you go home, you're wondering, is any of this even real? And I hope that when the clothes come off, people don't see that really on the inside, I'm empty, I'm bitter, I have unbelief in my heart. You see, the problem with this brand culture is that we base our value system on what's on the outside. And you know what that leads to? We start interacting and joining ourselves with people solely based on what we see. Can I get real for a second? Some of us are sleeping with people simply because of what we look at on the outside. 
and you think you're joining yourself to Sephora or to the gym, you think you're joining yourself to that fashion, to that body, but what you're joining yourself to is not what's happening on the outside. You are joining yourself to all of this on the inside. And I wonder if we're scared of getting beneath the surface because if we realize what we were actually sleeping with, we would have a different idea of how we base our values and how we make our decisions. You know, I remember growing up in New York and we used to go to the city and you'd walk down the street and there were always these tables on the side of the streets with all different types of stuff. You know, they had the New York, uh, all the stuff that tourists like, you know, the Statue of Liberty hat and, you know, the, all those things. But, but then they had the, 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 the streets with the tables and, and they had all the LV handbags or, or they had pictures of them. This is what they would do. If they were really expensive, they'd have pictures of them. And if you expressed interest, they would say, okay, come with me. They take you around the corner and there's this hole in the ground. They open up the doors and they lead you down into this basement. That's where they have all the bags. And they show you all the stuff. Now, you, you have to really know your stuff here because it's dark and sometimes you can't tell if it's real or not. But I, I used to go to the city with my stepsisters and they, they knew the difference between a real LV handbag and a fake one. They knew the stitching. They knew the pattern like the back of their hand. And so they could go down into that basement and if they were shown a fake immediately they walk right up out that basement and they walk down the street. Why? Because they knew what was real so they could spot the counterfeit. And maybe in your life, you keep joining yourself to fakes and phonies because you've never seen something that's real. But God wants to introduce you to the authentic version of who he's called you to be. But you have got to be willing to change what you buy and what you invest yourself in. Don't settle for knockoffs. I know you think these are the name brands, but these are the knockoffs because there's a name brand that bought you at the highest price. In fact, he spared no expense to get you from where you were and to brand you with his name, a new name and a new identity. So stop settling for knockoffs in your life. Stop settling for a brand that can't heal you from your brokenness. Stop settling for something that can't bring satisfaction and purpose. Let God brand you with his name and with his purpose. When you allow God to write his name across your life, you don't just wear the brand, you become the brand. 